Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to do SharePoint site administrative tasks. Specifically, how to keep a track of a download history in your SharePoint site. So the tool we're going to use is a very powerful tool provided by Microsoft 365. It's under the compliance portal, under the solutions, audit. So here I've got a SharePoint site in my organization. We got a bunch of files here. So we want to keep a track of or specifically get a list of the users who have downloaded which files over a period of time. So what we're going to do is copy and paste the SharePoint URL. And we go back to the audit log tool, specify a date and a time. Remember, the date and time is in, is in a UTC format. So if you are in different time zone, make sure to transfer the time back to the UTC standard time zone. The activity we're going to choose is download. Download file under the file and page activities. Uh, the record type, we can just keep it in blank because we have already specified the activities. Since we want to keep a track of all the users who have downloaded what files in the SharePoint site, we're also going to keep this users box blank and copy and paste the SharePoint site URL to the file folder and site column. If everything checks out, we just have to hit the search. Okay, now the search has begun. We might sit back and have a cup of tea and wait for it to complete. Now I have already completed a audit log search before this video. So this one is already completed. Let's click into it and see what it looks like. So now you see the audit log search has provided a very detailed list of the users who performed the download activities with respect to the SharePoint site. Here we have the date and time, IP address, the users. And what is more amazing is it even tells us the details. So if we click into the entries, we're able to see all the detailed information here, like object ID, user ID, and the source related URL and we are able to see even deeper down the file path and which file actually which user has downloaded which is pretty cool so if we want a detailed detailed view of these histories we can hit the export button and when the export uh, it's now in progress. When the export is finished, we are able to see it in a, in a CSV file on a local PC for our further data analysis. So that's it. I hope you guys found this video rewarding. If you liked this video, please hit the, hit, hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video.